Hey everybody, welcome to White Family Farm. Oh my gosh, there's some big stuff going on today. Let's take a look. Today, uh, we're gonna show you, we did like a expansion on our, we made like a little grow room in our basement. Give us a lot more space. Set up these shelves and I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, the Turn the lights on and everything, but we have the LED grow lights and we have, is this, there it is. You can adjust your lights on the pulley system. I put up my survival blanket to reflect any UV off the back. Um, got our heat heat uh, mats set up on this one. This gave us, a, gave us a lot more space to germinate and get things going before we can get it outside of the greenhouse. I also put uh, our automatic vent opener in the greenhouse today. Uh, so we got that ready. Hopefully, I'm going to make sure it's working tomorrow before I put anything out there because 115 degrees is pretty warm for most of our plants. I don't want to put things out there quite yet if the, if the vent isn't working. We have to figure that out. But uh, here, let me show you the lights. Some positive. I think it worked out pretty well. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna get some curtains, some like dark curtains to hang in front of it for when we're down here. Uh, Cause we noticed, I mean, it does bother your eyes if you're down here for more than a few minutes. I don't wanna burn my retinas out of my head with uh, UV light, so. But all these lights are linked together. So they all will come on and off at the same time. I have them on a switch too if we're down here and we're doing something we can just flip a switch and shut them off and they're on a timer to come on 12 hours on 12 hours off but uh our onions are doing pretty good i think this was like an experiment this year and we realized we could have planted them thicker but this is enough onions for us this year but uh i think next year once we have the other beds up and running we're going to really step up our onion game because we use a lot of them in our cooking and like to dehydrate them and things like that. Uh, I got some hot, like super hot peppers. These are uh, Carolina Reaper, Maruga Satan crosses. Uh, well, quite a bit of germination on them. Quite a bit of those. Sort. And these are some medium hot peppers that we had saved seeds from. Uh, we bought at a church sale actually and I saved seeds from them because they were pretty good peppers and all these deals back here those are all celery starts some of them are getting a little bit lanky but I think they'll be all right we'll just have to bury them a little bit but they seem to be doing okay most of them and those were all chitted seeds that I put in there uh, this is the original celery that we started the Chinese pink it's doing pretty well these are our Brussels sprouts. They're all they're ready to go outside in the greenhouse. Actually, we might put them in the ground. We'll see because they can handle the cold. And like I said, our onions. This is the quartz stevia. She's really proud of. She's got uh, five of them going. We have begonias back here, man. These things are. We have to talk to some people in the area that we know that grow them. Uh, they look kind of weird with the camera, but. Uh, there, we've got a couple that are alive and they're starting to grow fast. They're just, it's kind of like ground cherries to me. They're growing very, very slow. We have some trays of, you see what we'll see through there. I don't know. Yeah. Those are some flowers we have going. Those are actually candy cane uh, zinnia that we saved seed from, from the garden. Uh, what's in here? We don't have anything germinating in here yet. I just got some ground cherries that started to get going earlier. And what is there? What is in there, Gordon? Alexandra? What does it say? Oh, strawberries. Oh, those are quartz strawberries. We're trying to start strawberries from seed. I'm going to get those back on the heat mat, actually. What is down there? I can't um, remember. These are some more flowers. Oh, are those my... Yeah. yeah. Check my borage. I just planted a couple days ago and, and it's already is freaking huge. Going wild. Uh, 
probably shouldn't have mixed because boards grow so fast we probably shouldn't have mixed it in with other stuff but we have uh hollyhocks back there um what is this starting to pop up oh, let's see. oh that's hollyhock as well so we got hollyhocks popping that's about it in here at the moment is it did we put water in the bottom of this no probably should have And this here is a little bit of an experiment I have going. These, I didn't get, uh, I had some germination in these, but then they ended up drying out and dying. But I've got, I had a few more in here, but I thinned them out to the strongest. These are carrots. Uh, this is another add-on to my carrot competition I'm trying, a little secret experiment. Uh, the key is if I can get these to grow and get big enough then I can take them out of here and actually transplant them with some rooting compound on them and try to get them to get really big but we'll see how that goes this is just an experiment for the first time this year see what happens I would prefer to have the plastic tubes like a lot of the guys use I saw some used cardboard so I tried it with a cardboard once it gets wet it loses its shape but uh, we'll give it a shot and see what happens I mean I'm keeping them alive so far All right, and if we made a video there a few, uh, last week, I believe, when we planted cabbage and things like that, uh, it's all dead except for one. This is what we've learned. This is our first time coming across bad seed starting mix. You can just look at this stuff, and it's not good. I, that's why I didn't plant too much stuff with it, and I'm not too upset that the cabbage isn't going to make it for spring because typically we're going to grow that in the fall but we were gonna to try to get in an early crop of it. But uh, this shows you the importance of having a quality seed starting mix. We found some really good stuff uh, after dealing with this. Um, it's kind of sparse around here, what you can find on the shelf. You have like uh, some of the burpee stuff and then, um, I can't remember what the other stuff was, but it's just your common stuff that you can get at Walmart. Um, I came across this stuff and it was not a bad deal. So I was like, oh, we'll give it a shot. Well, look at that. I mean, everything's dead. It won't hold. It turns into mud as soon as it gets wet. It's it's terrible. But I yeah, did. Yeah, the only thing that made it was that. Yeah, and you can tell that that's where there was a little bit of uh, potting mix left in the bottom of the bucket. Apparently, that's what got put right there in those spots because it's actually holding moisture. So, but either way, yeah, it's a lesson learned. It, I'm glad we didn't plant a lot more stuff with it. But it's it does fine. I mixed it in with some other uh, potting mix that we had, but just put a little bit of this in and mixed it in, and the plants are doing fine. It's just this, I don't know what is in this, but it's not it's supposed to be all organic, and this and that is not good. It'll go in the compost pile.